Voy a ver otro vídeo de Trading Geek, vídeo cortito. Vamos a vídeos y voy a poner los populares. A ver, los más populares. ¡Coño! Este pavo tiene eh, 1,1 millones de visualizaciones. Yo creo, todo nuestro canal creo que tenía 4 millones de visualizaciones. Este tío, un cuarto de mi canal, un cuarto de nuestro canal, lo tiene en un solo vídeo de Supli and Demand. Hace 6 meses, curso de, de velas, eh, cómo hacer 500 pavos al día... De 100 a 10.000, ah, no me seas, no me seas, Ab, eh, Abdullah, ¿Cómo, ¿cómo se llamaba el, el loco del... Uf, 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 que le, le metía, mira, se me sale la baba y todo, le metía 60 lotes, uf, uf, eh, no me seas, eh, af, af, Ajmal, 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 gente, si no me pasáis eh, más canales, luego de este, vamos a ver a mi amigo Ajmal, otro buen canal, bueno, Scalping, Vale, White Bui, eh, Scalping Secrets, de 0 a, a 100.000, joder, este, este va, va, va más, eh. Train Second How to Enter and Exit Like Pro, Must Know This, What the One Person Don't Tell You, Día 1, Día 100, eh, White Buy, Revealing My Secret, Train Like Break Tracks. Ah, esta me gusta, a ver, oye, son vídeos por lo general de 15 minutos, eh. Están muy bien, eh. Están muy bien. Son videitos de 15 minutos, ¿eh? Muy, muy bien de, dir de digerir. Vamos a ver este. Venga, rápidamente. Trend lines, they are easy to trade, right? Everybody knows how to trade. Un oh, momento, un momento, un momento, un momento. Que vas muy rápido. Eh, vale, porque lo tengo rápido. <risa> un momentito. Ponemos español. Ahora sí, vamos allá. Oh, just buy when price bounces off the trend line. Hee <laughs> hee. But I can guarantee you that you have never seen this trend line break strategy that I'm about to show you. If you can master this strategy, it will change the way that you trade forever. My blowing. The first step is to draw a trend Wait, line perdón, right, que, obviously. Que In an uptrend just like this, you want to connect all the higher lows with your trend line too. In a downtrend, you want to connect all the lower highs with your trend vale. line. Make sure you try to get as many touches as you can because for a trend line to be valid, the price has to touch it at least three times. It is not enough to draw a trend line if price has only touched it two times. Remember, the more times the price touches the trend line, the stronger it is. It's just like your support and resistance. So the second step is to wait for your trend line break. Remember, this is a magical trend line break strategy. So of course, we're gonna be waiting for the price to break out of this trend line. So right here, we still wait to see what price does. Price is starting to break through the trend line, but we still wait and see. And at this point of time, this is when price has finally broke out of the trend line right here. But you do not want to enter yet. Most beginner traders, they will enter for ourselves right here immediately when price breaks through the trend line and end up the price went back up and it's a fake out and they lose a lot of money. So please do not commit this mistake. Do not enter yet. Be patient. Instead of entering for the trade right here, I want you to take out your rectangle tool and highlight this candle right here, the candle that broke out of the trend line, which is this one right here. And what I want you to do is to just like to draw a box and just like drag it to the right side like this, just drag it. So the third step is to enter and exit like a pro. So you want to wait for price to come back to the candle that broke out of the trend line. So at this point of time, let's see what happens next. You can see vale, price vale, is... vale, vale, vamos por pasos, eh. La trend line tiene que tener un mínimo de tres toques, tiene que romper y la segunda vela que rompe, ahí que, ahí que vamos. Finally came back up to this vale. candle where it just broke down the trend line. Yes, retrace all the way up here. At this point of time, remember, you still want to be patient. You do not want to enter immediately when price come back to this area here. You want to look for some sort of confirmation that tell you that price is rejecting this rectangle area. Then that is when you enter for the trade. So vale, vale, vale. let's look vale. at the next candle. Next candle, you can see like price is just rejecting this entire rectangular area. You can see price gave us three long week candles, not three actually, four long week candles, which show us that price does not want to go up, right? This is a very valid retest, right? Retest of the trend line, very valid. So we can enter right here for our sell position. Once we see our confirmation that price is just rejecting this rectangular area. So I will place my stop loss above the candle that broke out of the trend line, which is this candle right here. And I'll just place it above this box like this. For your take profit, this is where the magic happens. This is a very important concept that you must understand because this is the secret to my entire trend line strategy. I want you to zoom out and draw a... Bienvenido al canal de Trading Forex TV Directos, en donde vemos estrategias y analizamos y reaccionamos a otros canales. Si todavía no estás suscrito, suscríbete y activa la campanita para que te lleguen todas las notificaciones. Muchas gracias. Align at all the times where price... Now, al align at all the touch of the trend lines. Vale, Just todos los toques de la trend line. Line. Right vale. here. And right here, 
Vale. And right here, and also right here, and right here. As you can see, these are all the times where price touches vale. the trend line and then bounces up from the trend line. So this will be our take profit levels. Let me explain. Actually, this is like too much lines. So in this case, let's just delete these two right here and let's stick with these three lines. So I'm going to name these three lines. This is point A, this is point B, and this is point C. Your first take profit should be at point C. And then if price break through point C, then your second take profit can be at point B. Here's how this strategy works. In this case, what you can do is that you can either take all of your profits at point C right here, just when price reaches point C, you just close the entire trade and you take all your profits. But if you want to leave the trade to run so that you can get more profits, what you can do is to take partial profits, which means when price reaches point C, you close half of the trade, you close 50% of the trade. So you let the other 50% of the trade, the other half run to your point B. And then when price reaches point B, then that is when you can close the entire trade. Right now, this is where the magic happens. Price is going to reach point C and then it's going to reach point B next. And then finally, it's going to go down to point A. Yep, so in this case, I'll just take my first profit at point C first. So let's look at what happens next. Vale, o sea, tres take profits. Price go down, go down, go down. We just wait, 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 and smash our take vale. profit. You can see at this point of time, we have smashed our first take profits, right? So at this point of time, we have closed half of the trade. Now we have the other vale, half to run, right? We have the other half to run to our point B. So you can just see like price just broke out of point C and now it might go to point B. So I'll just shift my take profit all the way down ah, to este point goloso, B eh? right here. And let's look at what happens next. And you can see like price retrace up there again. Ooh. We still did not get stopped out. Vale. Boom. Bam! We just smashed our point B. We just smashed our second take profit. And at this point, Buena. we have closed the entire trade. By the way, guys, I'm just showing you this example on the daily time frame. All right. So this trade okay, bueno. literally take months to go into take profit. But please, this is not how I trade. All right. I'm going to be using. Ah, que esto es gráfico diario. He dicho que tardó tres meses para llegar a ese take profit. One hour time frame for this strategy or even the four hour time frame. I'm not going to be trading on the daily time frame. I'm just using the daily time frame to show you guys as an example because on the daily time frame, the charts is just much more cleaner for me to show you guys. But please trade this strategy on the time frames that you want to trade on, be it the 15 minute, the one hour or the four hour. This strategy works on every single time frame. So right now you can see that price has just broken point B. But I want you to look at where price goes next. Point A, just like how we predicted. Que locura, price went que down locura. to point A, right here. So que right locura. now price is just Se broken through point A. Guess where is it going to go ya next? Está. Right here at this point, because at this point, price bounces off our original trend line. And then after price breaks through this point, it's going to come down to this point. Just take a look at this. Just like what we predicted, ya guys. Está, price está. went all the way down to this level. And ultimately, there is no 100% certainty that price is going to get down to this level right here, the first trend line bounce, because this is quite low. Sometimes price can go to either one of these points and then just reverse, right? Like, there is no 100% certainty that price is going to go down all the way down to like the first trend line bounce, all right? That is why I tell you guys to take your first profit at point C and then second eh? profit at point B. Because once again, there is no guarantee that price is going to get all the way down to this first trend no line garantia. bounce. Now, here's another example. You can see that right now we are in a downtrend this revés. time and we can draw a trend line connecting all of these lower highs and as you can see right here price has bounced off this trend line multiple times which makes it a very valid trend line because remember at least three touches and right now yes more yeah, than three touches tokens, so eh? we are good line, so right now the next step is potente. to obviously wait for price to break out of this trend line so we still wait and as you can see like right here at this point of time vale, this is when price roto. break out of the trend line let me just zoom in. so this is the candlestick that broke ver, out the trend line. So what we're going to do is to take out your box tool once again, take out your rectangle oye, tool. Oye, oye, and oye, I want oye, you to oye, 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 oye. No recuerda un poquito a, a la fórmula de trabajarlo cuando esperar la, la vela de ruptura, la, la veo bar, ¿no? La B, la veo bar se llama. A uh, V pattern, pero en vez de en horizontal, digamos en diagonal. No recuerda un poquito, digo yo, ¿eh? Para así para asimilarlo, para asemejarlo un poquito a algo. Like literally highlight this candlestick right here and then just draw a box around here. Just drag the entire box and just drag it to the right like this. So these two candlesticks are the ones that break out this trend line. Remember guys, you do not want to enter immediately when price break out of the trend line. That is like newbie, newbie, newbie way to trade. Alright, that is newbie way. We are professionals now. Claro, los novatos entran aquí. Profesionales no, así que hay que esperar. So we want to wait for price to come back down to this box. Then that is when we enter for the trade. So you can see price went back up and then we can see uh, why it's coming back down. Ay. Okay, once it Dale. came back down to this rectangle area, Dale, we are waiting for some sort of confirmation that tells us that price is rejecting ah, this little box and it's going to back rejection. up. That is when we enter for the trade. Vale, vale, vale. Esperar, ruptura, la vela que rompe es la zona. 
esperas a que vuelva y no entras a pelo, sino esperas el rejection, que, que se mueva el precio. Trade. At this point of time, this is where I will enter vale. for a buy position. Because price gave us a long week candle multiple times once again. You can see there's a lot of candles that gave us long weeks right here, which pretty much just show us that price is rejecting this strong area and it's gonna go back up right now. So right here, this is when I will enter for a buy position, place your stop loss below this rectangle area, below like this candlestick that broke off the trend line right vale. here, right? And by the way, if you wanted to get a sniper What's entry, you can enter when this doji candlestick form right here. At this point of time, this is when the doji candlestick form, which show us that this little retracement right here is losing momentum and the buyers... Ah, vale, 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 vale. Está diciendo, claro, es lógico, over. porque so está diciendo can... el precio ya reyectó, pero luego tú, aquí... Cuando reyecta, tú compras pues a, al retroceso, ¿no? Entonces lo que está diciendo. Candle right there, and also at this point of time, this is when like price has come back down to the candlestick that broke out of the trend line. So you know what? We'll just enter right here actually. So this point right here, this is the last touch before price broke out of the trend line. So this is your first take profit, and as you can see, price vale, just like, vale. smashed eh, out the profit tenemos, already. ¿no? And then your second take profit could be at the second area, the second point, which is right here. Es and I want you to toque. remember this very very important point. There is no guarantee that price is going to get up all the way up to this level no or even up to this level right here. There is no guarantee, right? What we want to do is to just like react to the market. So what I mean by that is that if I see price like go up and go to like near this area over here and start reversing and heading back down, guess what? I'm going to be getting out of the trade, all right? I'm not going to be stupid enough to hold the trade, all right? So yeah, first take profit smash. Let's see if we can smash this second take profit. Okay, you can see like price go up, come back down to this area to retest it and then go up. So at this point of time, you can draw a second resistance area right here. You can see there's a second resistance area right here. And you can see uh, price just consolidating at this area here. At this point of time, what you can do is that you can move your stop loss, right? You can move your stop loss right here. So right here, your new stop loss will be below this last higher low. Because remember, as price creates structure, as price like create your higher highs and higher lows, you always want to make sure that you move your stop loss. This is the last higher low. So now price is creating your new higher low. So I'll just move my stop loss right here in case like price reverse and head back down. Then guess what? We will still get stopped out in some profits. Because remember, we entered for a buy position right here. So if Hola y bienvenido a la newsletter de análisis semanal con Smart Money Concepts. Desde ahora podrás suscribirte con una pequeña cuota mensual y recibir de forma semanal el análisis de 10 o más activos de los movimientos que estoy esperando del precio para la próxima semana. Encontrarás puntos de entrada, invalidaciones y la proyección del take profit en cada uno de los análisis. Así que, ¿a qué esperas? Suscríbete a la newsletter de Smart Money Concepts por tan solo desde 9,95 al mes. Además, tienes una membresía de una semana gratuita para probar el servicio. Encontrarás el enlace en la descripción de este vídeo para suscribirte a la nueva newsletter de Smart Money Concepts. Even if we get stopped out right here, we are still in profit. So we wait. Okay, you can see like price just stop us out like this. This is the reality of trading, right? There is no strategy that is going to work all the time. Sometimes the strategy just does not work. And right here, I just wanted to show you guys and be honest with you that sometimes the strategy might not work. In this case, you always want to make sure that you adapt and react to the market. So in this case, we just got stopped out. But guess what? We did not lose any money at all because this was a risk-free trade because remember, our stop loss was originally right here and now we have moved our stop loss right here. So now we got stopped out and guess what? We are still in profit vale, because we entered all the way down here. So right now you can see even though we are stopped out, we are still in profits. Don't worry if you still do not get it. I'm going to show you another example and this time Venga, I'm going to show you guys ejemplo. how I personally trade this trend line strategy using eh? price action. This is going to be totally unfiltered. So once again, this is the uptrend. So you want to draw your trend line connecting all the higher lows. And you can see this is a valid trend line because there is like more than three touches, right? So at this point of time, price has just broken out of the trend line right here. So I'll just take my box tool once again and then draw the candle that broke out of the trend line, which is this candle right here. Vale, this candle right rompe. here broke out of the trend line. So I'll just draw a box around it. Un poco precipitada, no? Right, just drag it to the right, just like this. Pero bueno, so right now, I do not want to enter here. I want to wait for price to come back up to retest this same box, this same area, wait for some sort of rejection, head back down like this, ¿Eh? then that is... Vale, la vela que rompe, esa es la que tenemos que tener en cuenta. Hay que esperar so a que salga el precio y rebota en esa zona. Right here, guys, eh, 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 ¿qué ha pasado aquí? Vale, head falta el rejecte. All the way up here to retest this entire rectangle area, and right here, I'm waiting for some sort of rejections that show me that, okay, price is rejecting this rectangle area, and it's going to continue to head back down. Like, this little red candlestick alone is not enough for me to enter for the trade. So, wait, Ahora. right here, guys, you can see right here, Ahora. this is when I will enter for my sell position, because you can Ahora. see, like, price just rejecting this rectangle area, like, if price wanted to continue to go up to this uptrend, right, continue this uptrend, Esta. it would just, like, continue going up like this. But no, price did not do that. Price gave us a rejection in this area, which show us that this is a very valid retest. So, I place my stop loss above this rectangle area, okay. first take profit, at this point right here. Point C, and then point B, and then point 
a right here. So Bare. how I will do it is that I'll place my first take profit right here. You can see this uh, one is to three, almost three risk. One ratio. One ratio. Fairly pang. All right, that is very pang. All right, so that is my first take profit. So if price reaches this area here, guess what? I'm gonna move my take profit all the way down here. Price went back all the way down there and smash our first take profit. Once it local. smash our first take profit, I will move my take profit to my second take profit. And this part of time, it also smash it. It's really really just as simple as that, guys. Your point A, your point B, and point C. So right now, price has smashed this two take profit. So what I can even do is that I can re-enter for this trade if price yeah, reaches no? back to this level and then go back down to this area. Then me gusta. Okay, si right funcionan, las veo like cojonudas. Y fáciles. Me encantan este tipo de estrategias este tipo de estrategia también. Tres pasos. Right here, right. En tres pasos tienes estrategia. Me encantan a mí. Muy buena. Muy buena. Pura magia. Me ha encantado. Trading Geek. ¡Qué pedazo de canal! Se voy a poner así. ¡Qué pedazo de canal! Te amo. Y le voy a poner un corazoncito. ¿Dónde hay un corazoncito? Mira, oh, oh, un corazoncito. Vamos a ver. Uy, no, con, con una cruz no. A esa le voy a poner. Ahí lo tienes. Y mi like. Gente, qué pedazo de canal que hemos descubierto, qué bonitas estrategias, qué fáciles, a mí me encantan este tipo de estrategias Smart Money, que son tres pasos, que es uno, dos, tres, y lo tienes claro, y oye, con un alto porcentaje, un 60% de que esto funcione, y con un buen ratio, pedazo de estrategia, tío, me encanta, me ha gustado mucho el canal de Trading Geek, apuntaros, no le doy un like, le doy un super like, para que luego digáis que aquí no recomendamos canales, tenemos muchos canales recomendados, yo siempre lo digo, tenemos a mi querido y amado Lorenzo Corrado, tenemos a Trader Nick, tenemos a, a bueno, tenemos un montón de canales, bueno, tenemos a Jmal, tenemos a Jmal que está todo loco ahí metiendo ahí, pa, plasca, 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 lote tras lote, lo amo. Mañana no me dejo de ver a Ahmad, aunque sea uno de esos vídeos de un par de minutos, solo me, por escuchar el placa a placa cuando mete unos lotazos. Así que, gente, buen canal. A ver si mañana podéis aportarme algo para hacer <risa> Ahmad en leñazos. <risa> sí, señor, Ahmad en leñazos, tío, así lo vamos a llamar. Ahmad en leñazos a partir de ahora. Es otro de nuestros favoritos dentro del canal. Mirar de mañana a traerme recomendados buenos canales. Canales como este que dan vidilla, que se explica muy bien, vídeos que se pueden digerir bien de 15 minutos y no esos vídeos de una hora y el impulso retroceso y todos estos rollos. Buenos canales como Trading Geek, así que gente, un día más, espero que os haya, os haya gustado. No olvidéis darle like a este vídeo para los que estáis viéndolo en diferido y ya editado en mi canal secundario. Eh, suscribiros y sobre todo activar la campanita para que os lleguen estos pedazos de vídeos y estrategias que analizamos. Ahora sí, un besito y feliz trading a todos. Chao, chao.